And that's also, I want to go back to your boy who came on. Uh, um, we'll Ro- Rudy Rockman. Yeah, yeah. Shea, and Kosha you're, Dills. You're a little fake, fake Shea, Shea Guevara dude who came on here. The fake um, Shea Guevara. I mean, did you see him come on? Dude, as soon as I, I'm sorry, I don't know the dude. I shouldn't be, you know. I know he, he him, wants to come but back. He, but he came on, and I'm like, what is that? Halloween's over. He's, he had the whole Shea Guevara look. Come on. You Nobody well, noticed I that. Was, I thought he's Israeli. They kind of look like no, that. No, dude. When you look at his they video, no, 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 what? no. Go look at his videos and stuff like that. This motherfucker's clean. Yeah, you know, wears you... his Ray Bans. No, no. I'm sorry. Well, okay, black, I well, could be wrong. Well, some I black civil wrong. rights leaders they got their Malcolm be... X haircut and I they got, got the. I, I, I could be I wrong, mean, I... but I saw that and I was like, huh? And you know, playing the sort of revolutionary thing, and then. Yeah, uh, well, but anyway, let me let me get back to okay, him. Go I'm gonna get back Everybody to has a uniform. Uh, they, 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 everybody's got a uniform. Everybody got a uniform. I'm gonna talk about. They, they, they were, I'll just put it this way: there were things that were problematic for me. Like he's not here to defend himself. No, and he's stuff not. Like and it would be so, nice right. if you both guys. Uh, yeah. If he comes so back, I'm, you both come on but, here and but, talk but, about okay, it. Okay, so I'll just say that there were things that were problematic. I'm yeah. making fun of him, the Che Guevara thing. That's one thing. That's just me joking around. But um, you know, he he. Uh, talked about all these different places that he's gone to. I'm just telling you what came up for me. Okay. Hey, he's been you, all over this yes, world. So the very first thing it. I was like, okay. well, where's he getting his money from? And please don't tell me you're getting it from fucking YouTube videos, all right? I was like, you go, you travel way too much. Like, somebody's paying for this. It's not making any sense. And then I think he said that he got put into a Nigerian prison, okay? Yeah. Uh, as, as I'm a military brat. I've been yeah. around d- diplomat kids a, a lot. Yeah. All right. In Nigeria or either, you know, other mm-hmm. hotspots in the world, yeah. you, you don't get out of those places. Like, you know, they don't have the social contract like here in America. Like, you know, you got some tickets, you're going to go to jail for overnight and then, you, you know, get yeah. out. It's not how it works. Somebody fucking came and paid your way to get out. It's cash money that works. Mm. And I'm sitting there going like, oh, no, this dude is OGA. That, that, the OGA. He, other government agency. There's no fucking mm. way that he just got out, you know. I actually went to his site because I was like, I don't want to. I'm trying to. Yeah, because he, he made me. Feel really uncomfortable watching your show, so oh, I went to boy. his site. Oh yeah, dude, and I I brought so, him on. And it was a last minute thing because he was, was okay. leaving the next day. I said I want to do it. All right, well look, I get, get it, I get it. Hey man, you got to get other people's perspectives. I, and it was and, it was a it's an interesting one, but yeah. I think it's a very suspect one. Okay, so then I go to his site, and um and it was after he was supposedly released from this prison, right? Yeah, and they do they talk about how they've got like essentially connections with State Department and all these other people to to get them out. They right. said they were able to use diplomats from France, United States, and Israel to get them out of Nigeria. I'm like, how the fuck do you have State Department clearance to be able to make something like that happen? Wow. So I'm saying, or you know, I, I don't I, I don't know. I don't trust him. I'm again, at most, he's well meaning, but he's too trained. I was listening to him talk. I listened to his other videos and stuff. This dude is comms trained. And I know that uh, I think he's open about um, he was in the Israeli military for yes, for some, yes all that he stuff. was. Yep. No, this dude's trained. He's trained. Listen to the way he speaks, the way he debates, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like no. And you know this whole idea, and, and he even says in some of his stuff, oh, we're just going to go into these countries and talk about going back to Israel, and we're going to do it anyway. That little imperialistic fucking way. Like, who the fuck are you to go to somebody else's country and tell them about themselves? Because I don't buy you're doing it for some peaceful thing. Here, this is my last thing I'll say about mm. it. Here's my last thing. Um, at the end of the day, almost uniformly, people of Hebraic persuasion will say that the Palestinians are cousins of 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 of, of the people in, in Israel. They're right. cousins, right? Right. Which makes them Semitic peoples. Mm-hmm. All right. And the stuff that's going on in Gaza and the stuff that's going on in the West Bank, indeed, can't be more anti-Semitic than that. Right. Almost every human rights group including uh, 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 declarations at the United Nations, Jimmy Carter, have said that what's being employed in those regions, yeah. according to 73 and in 98, is apartheid. That's not Ty Jones saying it. These are the human rights people. Yeah. So, Mr. Rockman, if indeed you are you know, about um, you know, anti-Semitism and stuff like that, take care of it in your own damn country first, because that's what's happening. That's you can't if indeed these people are your cousins and, you know, they're just shooting people and creating settlements in, in, in these lands. And and again, I'm not the one saying that it's a part. Right. Type right. No, make sure there. you like. Right. You're, 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 yeah. Make, yeah. Yeah. I'm not the one saying Disclaimer. these, are, these yes. are these are other rabbis. These are. These yes. Are, you know, anti. Uh, what is it called? The uh, anti defamation. Oh, no, 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 it's not no. ADL. It's the uh, fifth. Uh, no, 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 no. no. It's, it's an organization that. Uh, uh, oh, God damn it. It's the organization that actually uh, is a human rights watch organization. 
It escapes me right now. But anyway, mm. it'll come to me in a minute. Not but, and, Amnesty International. Amnesty, okay, yeah. that's right. So, yeah. you know, they're all saying this. Not me. All right? So if indeed you are, if these are your cousins, and you all are doing the kinds of things that they're saying right. that meets the definition of apartheid, well, that would be anti-Semitic. Mm. So I just, I'm like, my dude, you don't need to go to, stick right there and, and, and make that shit stop. Huh. Make that shit stop. So you yeah, think it's a two state solution, you know, whatever it is, but make that shit stop. Well, the thing about the Ebo thing, what about the Ebo the- thing with the Africa thing? He's trying to make a documentary. What, what, you think I, that's bullshit? What do you need to be going in all those countries for? This is exact. When you read, you know, um, um, Black Against uh, Empire and stuff, you know, you get these, you know, missionaries and stuff like oh, that, yeah, you know, yeah. going into these nations trying, you know, and then some sort of something hot happens. Something happens. Oh, yeah. yeah, get a gun. You got to shoot those people now. You know, you're my friend. No, no. Ah. I'm telling you, dude. I'm, I, no, and I, I I don't buy it. I don't buy it, and and I and I like that you are saying this because you got to call people out to see if they're authentic. Because I would like, he says he wants to come back sometime oh, yeah, in like and March. It's all that I kumbaya would, stuff, and nah, man, and and and, and you know, that even when I was it. joking about some stuff, he was like, "Well, I don't think it's funny." The Dave Chappelle thing, I said Chappelle was not anti-Semitic, bro. Yeah, no, yeah. and it's well, it's, he said you were desensitized. He said it was desensitized. No, you're not desensitizing. No, I, I, no, I agree. No, no, that, no, I was telling him. No, no, I, I saw we're not it. making fun of Jewish people being like um, of their heritage against. or something. Yeah. Why would black people do that when? Every other race does that to us. Even people who are oppressed, the oppressed races, you shit on us too. You shit on us. Like, I know some, yeah. some Jewish people that call us niggas. Yeah. Like, Schwarz, all this, you call us niggas. I know some Asians that discriminate against us. Latins that discriminate against us. So why would a black person play games with anti-Semitism? We don't do that kind of shit because there are black Jews too. Right. So why would we do that? And plus, in comedy... Because maybe maybe some people don't have a good sense of humor. There is subtext in comedy. Amen. It's not you're not doing public speaking. There's there's subtext. That's why there's tricks to it. Right. When you're telling a joke, there's something undergoing under that. When Dave Chappelle said, "Stop blaming black people," right? The, it, 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 you didn't even get what he was trying to say. No. And, you know, and, leave us out of that shit. We have enough problems of our fucking own. And, and then the other part of it was is when he said you were. It said that Dave Chappelle was desensitizing, no, right? Man. Yeah, no, but hear me out. Hear me out. My problem with that is this, is that the one thing that is absolutely amazing, and I think you mm-hmm. and I have talked about this before, mm-hmm. that you know Chinese people do in terms of keeping their culture together, Chinatown, yeah, yeah, stuff no like doubt. that. And they keep their economy. Yep. With, and, and, and that people of her break persuasion do as well. Yes. You know, I had a, my, my boy had bought a brownstone in a Crown Heights, yeah. right off of Atlantic Boulevard, and the uh, seeds came up to him with cash. Gave them double that the damn value of the uh, of the brownstone was worth. Like because what did they do? They created a little Israel for themselves, which is and make that's, dope. That safety, safety. I get that. Damn, I get it. it makes too. sense as right. So my my and by the way, the ADL. There's there are an extraordinary number of organizations that have been created to make sure that uh, any sort of violence towards people of Hebraic persuasion they is they are protected. And they as a matter of fact, be. that's right. And, but so ADL has always been in lockstep with like the FBI, all right? And the FBI, including the ADL, has been part and parcel, part of eviscerating us, our leaders, the Black Panthers, Martin Luther King. ADL was was working with those mm. folks at the same time, all right? Oh. This isn't, this isn't just, yeah. Right. So I'm just kind of like, you know, Greenblatt, if you're going to go around and do that, you got to keep it clean, you know. Don't omit things. Mm. Talk about it all. Yeah. Because then you can understand there's a why the wedge happens between blacks and those of Hebraic persuasion. Yeah. It's because of those things you did to our leaders yep. that you were reporting on and stuff like that. Now I gotta give it to them. Mm-hmm. One of the great things that they do, which is so smart, there, you know, because I think your boy made a comment about 50% of the hate crimes or something like that, you know, uh, are happening. That yeah. They happen to people of Hebraic persuasion. Right. And uh, that's great because you want to know what they do? They report everything. The sw- you know, spray yeah. painting. Well, the- yes. Good on them. Yeah. Now, let's be, but, but let's be honest about the, uh, uh, not, it's not that they're being dishonest. Let me just say, let's yeah. just talk more about the, the idea of the omitting. percentages. Yeah. Yes. Is that like women, women don't report all their things. So we know no, that the don't. percentage is, is not right. actually they don't accurate, report, right? right? But, um, uh, I think uh, it's important for for folks of Hebraic persuasion. What they've done is that they've created inf- they've created infrastructures in place. Yeah. So if something happens, you know, let, let let me use this as an example. I don't care how clean your place is in New York City. You're always going to find a roach. 
So it's about managing it, right? If you right. don't give a roach uh, an environment to survive, then that means you'll have less roaches. But someone's going to shoot, yeah, you yeah. know. And you got to manage it. You fucking cook and do it. And right. That's what people of Hebraic persuasion have done that's so right. well. Very they well. Put up infrastructure all over. Well, in our every shit's aspect, infested with yeah, fuck shit. Yeah, well, all yeah. over. That if anything pops up, we got it. Right. Get that's it. right. That's, that's right. what they no do. Doubt. They're great at doing that. So Amazing. there's nothing about it that's being desensitized. Right. At the end of the day. Anything that pops up, y'all will fucking smash it. I wish we could be able to and, do something and, and, like that. And Chappelle so, doing his set, he goes, you're blaming the comedian and stop it. It's yeah. He's not making it worse. What he's a, We're comedians, man. Yeah. Be in context. Get out of your that that other military mentality. We're talking about, we're, we're trying to relieve a situation that's fucked up, that's polarizing. Yep. Yeah. He's doing his job. Fuck, do you have a better joke to write? Right. No, you don't. And this is a very brilliant fucking comic. Right. He's one of the best, period. So he's like saying he made fun of the way Kanye was doing things. Because Kanye's so out there, he's like, he reads the letter, he goes, now Kanye, that's the way you buy you some time. Buy you some time, yeah. Shit was funny. Yeah. It was hilarious. He's making fun. He's exact. He's 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 ridiculing how Kanye was going about it. No, I saw. I, no, trying no. to relieve it. I thought and it was, there's subtext I thought to the whole brilliant. thing. Stop blaming black folks. Don't quit getting mad at my jokes. It's not me doing this shit. Right. Please, we don't have that kind of power. The We're beautiful, dealing with the a, beautiful about thing about yeah. comedy is that you guys will comment on the world as you see it. Yeah, and, and other and Jewish it. comics were like, "Nah, that shit was dope." Yeah. They get yeah. it because they're comics. You can't please like. I, and I, and it's not about comparing who suffered the more because black folks win. We win. You, <laughs> we're winners, but we don't do that. No. We feel for people who are suffering. The problem is when it's our turn, you just blow us the fuck off. You blow right. us the fuck off. Yeah, That's which facts. Is, which is probably why, you know, you know again, I think it's going to be up to us to maybe sit on the sidelines around all this stuff with, like, you know, uh, oh, I, I, did you ever watch that movie? Um, he Which bros one? the Negro. I forgot what it's called. Oh, he, he bros. That's what I did. That's I did what watch Chappelle it. said. He bros the Negro. Oh, I'm sorry. He bros the Negro. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah. That's, I did. That's watch what it. Chappelle okay. called it. He bros the, the Negro. Negroes. So, <laughs> so I made it. See, whatever. he even made fun of the title yeah. of this black historical document. He did you did the black dude that made it get mad at that? He I, just I said no because no, no, he said no. Chappelle said ah oh, I saw the the documentary. Uh, yeah, he bros the Negroes. Yeah. Uh, God damn! Yeah. It's like, <laughs> so I was watching the documentary, and he made fun because the guy is actually making money from it. But did that that black dude didn't go, Yo, Chappelle, I didn't appreciate you. He's a comedian. Yeah, he's trying to relieve this polarizing thing, and then now you're blaming blaming us. Yeah, I go, yeah. man, please, no, you don't get the joke, motherfucker, because. If we want to be serious and you want to go head to head and talk about s suffering, we can stop smiling and we can get down. Yeah. But, and, so, but, but we're but trying I, to relieve the shit. Go yeah. Ahead. And no, no, I was just going to say, I don't disagree. It's just that I think that, uh -oh. uh, you know, one of the things we can do is, you know, look out for ourselves. You know what I mean? You know, it kind of goes We've back always to had to be doing that. Yeah. I mean, I, that, yeah. and I think we're like, actually like starting the, to get better, which is why I like the Jewish Dion, wanted Dion to stay. But like there. the Jewish you know community, they, they, they're they a good example of how to stick together, yes. how to keep your shit organized. We actually look at them and go, damn, I want to be like that. They, my, my, they teach their kids about business and money. My friends tell me this, and I go, that's fire. We need to do that. Yep. But there's a lot of, uh, interruptions from other people trying to keep us from not doing it. Yeah, well, I mean, look, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's any solution to this because at the end of the day, um, uh, the, you know, some of the thing, you know, you're getting rabbis who are like, you know, uh, this some of the stuff that's the, that's been a complaint makes no sense that it's. A I mean, so I'm kind of like argue amongst yourselves. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, I'm not, not going to sit off on. I'll just sit off on the sidelines. Let me see what happens. Here. Yeah, I I don't get um, into it too deep because they it, you get they's too base, too sensitive, yeah, too and, sensitive, and then they keep. I just go because you get somebody like Netanyahu, one of the the most powerful people on the planet. Yeah, I mean, he he is straight up about it. He was like, yeah, we're we're power and, right. As a matter of fact, we're going to do everything we can to get rid of Iran. You know, because they're going to try to get rid of us or whatever. You know, right. like he's straight up about it. Right. United States is in our pocket. I mean, he says it. Right. You know what I mean. He's like, yeah, they got it. They they're gonna have to listen to us because we are the United States. He kind of, you know, says hey, that. You know, it's nothing so, like so, being real with it. You know, yeah, you might as well have that honest conversation around that. You know, yeah. what I mean? But you know, um, to to sort of obfuscate, you know, from what's obfuscate. really obfuscate. Oh, that, that one, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Obfuscate. Now, yeah. You know, uh, your, your, your other, your other Obfuscate, friend. Obfuscate. I forgot like, his name. Sort of smear. What is that? What is, sm- what is this? Yeah. To, to, Obfuscate to, kind to of make, fog. Make it opaque and opaque. stuff. Opaque. Yeah, yeah. To okay, render so, obscure. So, obscure. That, yeah, obscure. Obfuscate. He put that in and then put another word to make it obscure. He put... Oh, he opaque. Then he added another thesaurus word, anyway. opaque. Then they're like, "What's so, opaque?" Damn, yeah, people think you know. Yeah, I know. Anyway. Opaque. So you skate. Oh, look at this motherfucker right Yeah. So so, <laughs> and and then you're you're. I know he's your boy and stuff. I, I made a joke. I, I said, uh, "Who are you talking about?" Uh, Vanilla, Dante Vanilla Nice. I forgot his name. Da- oh, Kosha Dills. Yeah, him. So <laughs> he um. He made a he made a comment about how the Nation of Islam is a hate group and stuff like. No, that. it's I'm not. Like, oh, come on, that's dude. bullshit. It's like, like my it's man. not a hate group. It's you know, like, I, 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 the fuck are you talking and, about? And, and it's not a hate group. You know, he'll, but he'll say that he loves Malcolm X and what Malcolm was, X is about. But yeah, like that, that, that is an absolute contradiction. Well, sometimes white people like to praise people who are dead, and then people yeah. who are alive. You'll go, "He's a this." I go, yeah. "No, Malcolm X was in the same organization." It's the exact same thing. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. and they'll say, "Why can't we be like Martin Luther King?" You mean shot? Because that's what you did, and he was the most like dangerous man to the fucking um, for whatever national reason. security. Yeah, and and then, but when well, he was FBI, alive, he was know. bitching and complaining and and spying on him. Now he's dead. Why can't we be like him? Yeah, stop it. Yeah, deal with the folks, the black people that are alive, right. and show them some fucking respect. If you-